Hi everyone and thanks again for joining our Travel and Tourism TMC Live event for the Manchester College. I'll shortly be passing you over to Benjamin Anderson who is one of our tutors in the Travel and Tourism Department at the Manchester College. Benjamin will be providing you with a showcase of the Travel and Tourism Department. If you do have any questions at any point you can ask them in the live Q&A box which is just to the right hand side of the screen and we'll answer as many questions as we can at the end. I'll now pass you over to Benjamin to get the session started. Hi Benjamin. Hi Amy, um, thank you. So hi guys, so my name is Ben and I'm one of the Travel and Tourism Tutors here at the Manchester College and we're just going through a range of our courses um, this evening just to give you a little bit of an insight into what we offer here at Manchester. So welcome to Travel, Tourism and Aviation. We are part of the service and retails in industry and offer a wide range of courses at a variety of different levels for this as well. Hi, I'm Ben, so I'm one of the Travel and Tourism teachers here at the Manchester College. Here we are in our aircraft cabin and we have these facilities at both Harper Hay and our Withenshaw campus. In these facilities, our students learn about how to deliver customer service, dealing with passengers on board, um, checking and boarding procedures, and also most importantly, emergency procedures on board an aircraft. So we hope you've had a good time looking at our facilities here and we look forward to seeing you in the future. OK, so some of the courses that we offer um, here at the college, we offer a level one, which is an explorer in the aviation industry and travel and tourism industry. This is two separate qualifications that we commonly offer um, that are linked together as well throughout the year as a one year course. Some of the units we study include aviation terminology. So we're looking at the phonetic alphabet, we also look at um, air imp codes, airport codes, and a little bit more about what it's like to be in industry. We look at customer service as well. So with our customer service, we do role plays in cabin crew and ground operations, and also in terms of travel agencies, just to get a bit of a feel for what the industry is like. We look at airport locational and travel geography. So this includes looking at, at atlases and a range of different maps and locating countries and airports around the world. We do an introduction to travel and tourism. So the industry in general, what does the travel and tourism industry contain? We look at different things such as components of the industry, so accommodation, we look at transport, and we also do preparing for the airport and travel employment. So with this unit, we actually focus on developing your skills for industry. And this includes a range of um, skills that are adaptable to any type. We look at building your CVs, we look at cover letters, we look at application forms, and we actually tailor make them to the job role in which you want to apply to as your future career. We offer a level three whole travel experience. Sorry, it's a little bit blurry, um, which is a two year course. And this is offered by our NCFE programme. And within this, our learners study a range of modules over the two year period. It's normally nine in the first year and nine in the second year as well. Some of these units include customer service. So this is in general for a range of industries across aviation and travel and tourism. We look at marketing, so the products that we're selling um, within industry and how these are marketed in terms of an aviation perspective and also travel and tourism. We look at resort representatives and this unit focuses on different types of resort reps within industry. So you may have your entertainment reps, your children's reps, overseas, um, you may have ones within the UK as well with our holiday camps. We look at the skills and qualities that are actually um, needed for that role. We look at European destinations, uh, looking at a range across, um, within Europe. And we also look at preparing for employment. Now preparing for employment on the level three is one of the larger units. And with that, uh, you focus again on adapting your skills for particular roles within industry. 
We look at a variety of different job roles. So we may look at travel agency, we may look at cabin crew, we may look at aviation, working on a cruise ship, business management, a wide range of things that we prepare you for industry. As part of that as well, we also do assessment days and mock interviews to really prepare you for those next steps. Now we offer a level three um, holiday experience aviation course and this is a one year course which can progress into a second year. This course is run by BTEC and it is equivalent to UCAS points similar to the travel and tourism one as well. And you study a wide variety of units within the one year course here at the Manchester College. This currently runs as a subsidiary or a 90 credit diploma with a September start. And you may study things such as aviation terminology. So again, similar to like level one, you'll learn about the phonetic alphabet. You will also look at uh, RIMP codes, airport codes, um, and basically in general terminology that we use within aviation. We do customer service, but from this part, we look at it within the aviation environment. And with our customer service unit, we focus a lot on what it means to have that within our industry. Within aviation, we are sort of broader area, similar to travel and tourism, that we have a lot of customer focus within our airport terminals on board our aircrafts and also out on the ramp as well. We look at teamwork. Now, teamwork is especially important within our industries. We all work together to communicate within departments. We are liaise with each other to ensure operations can be finished and completed at a suitable time. And again, we look at preparing for employment within an aviation industry. And this includes working with um, the airport, working with um, other support we have in college to help you actually get those skills required to get a job within the industry. Now, enrichment and trips, we have a broad range um, across the college and some previous trips have included Manchester Airport. So with Manchester Airport looking inside the terminal and at Manchester Airport Runway Park, which you're able to go and see aircraft take off. You're also able to look at the Concord and actually go on the Concord as well. We also did a trip to Blackpool Pleasure Beach in the past where travel and tourism students have looked at a variety of visitor attractions whilst in Blackpool. The Manchester Science Industry Museum, Shearing's Holidays, EasyJet. We had a pilot from EasyJet come in to do a talk for students. And we also looked at the Christmas markets. Right, well, I've absolutely loved the course here. Um, I think one of the things that I've enjoyed most is just the opportunity to experiment, try out, explore different things. I've done things that I've never done before. Returning back to the college as an adult, I was quite apprehensive to be fair, but I, tr I taught myself out of things, whereas as, as I'm getting older now, age isn't an issue here, so it's here for you to study. No one's raising any eyebrows about me coming back as an adult. They want you to come back as an adult. So just come back as an adult and, and start. You're never too old. Returning to college as an adult was, it was quite nerve wracking actually. <laughs> uh, I didn't really know what to expect, but like, I think it's the best, I feel like it's the best thing I've ever done. I've, I've, I've had so much fun doing it and I've met so many lovely friends and my tutor has been amazing and yeah, and I, I just love it. I enjoy teaching because it's great seeing students work to their full potential, learning new skills and achieving things they never thought they could achieve before. Uh, I've been in teaching now eight years. Uh, I've come into education to teach because I want to give back all my knowledge and experience to the students to see the students thrive. What I like most about the Manchester College would be the support 
that you get from everybody. Everybody's always like very hands-on and trying to help you the best way they can. The thing I enjoy most about teaching is watching the students flourish and watching them from their starting point to their end point, watching their confidence grow. I had help with funding from the college. They've got a bursary team that were very helpful. They helped me work out where I needed to go to get extra funding for the course. I mean, this course is just, I think it's just made me feel just that I can do things that, you know, a year ago I was so nervous showing things to other people. The things that I like most about the Manchester College is I belong somewhere now. I can come on a Friday, I belong somewhere, I can get as dirty as I like, I can learn something that I'm interested in and get away on Friday where I'm not a mum, I'm, I'm Vicky the Mechanic. So to sum up Manchester College in one word, I'd say supportive. The Manchester College for me is um, innovative. To me, Manchester College personally means progression within my career. To me, the Manchester College means opportunity. Okay, so we're just going to talk a little bit about our cabin crew course um, that is available with a March start date um, next year with this. So this course focuses um, with City and Guilds and it's six units that learners study over a diploma, but two as a certificate. And the certificate we are looking at offering is the March start. So you study two of the biggest units across that program. So unit 201 looks at airline terminology, which is related to the industry. Similar again, like looking at the phonetic alphabet, learning how to use it in an aviation situation, especially on board an aircraft. We look at safety and security, which is another huge unit within the cabin crew. We look at unit 203, so airline emergency procedures. So that's focusing on um, unplanned and unplanned emergencies, we use a lot of visual resources so you can see what a planned and unplanned emergencies look like. You learn about safety demonstrations on board an aircraft as well, and you actually get to partake in them as a role play. Cabin crew room duties. So with cabin crew room duties, you look at what is required as the role of cabin crew before getting on board an aircraft. So pre and post flight brief, uh, briefings. So we've just got a short video to watch. Hopefully this one works. arrived in Hana and the Pink Hotel and tomorrow we're going to start a training course and we are so excited! Yeah. <laughs> this is my room, this is my bed and she's my roommate! Hi! is our Rhino manual and we have to learn it because it's the most important feature of all our training cars and it's just like our Bible. This is our cabin trainer and here we'll do all our practical stuff. Being 
degree is not only about serving tea and coffee. We also need to know how to save lives. Staying alive, staying alive. One, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four, uh, five, six, alive. seven, eight, nine, thirty. I just completed my conversion exam. I think I bet. Okay, so that was just a video on an insight into what it's like to be cabin crew in the training program. Go a little bit fast. Okay, so just a little bit in the background to aviation. So we do offer three programs within the aviation department, um, level one, level two, and level three. And I'll just explain a little bit about these for you. So our aviation covers a variety of different roles within the industry. So with aviation, we may cover things such as safety and security. So how is it within the industry? Um, what are security measures have come in place due to events or threats that have been made to industry um, in previous years? We look at ground operations, so checking and boarding. We also look at things such as dispatcher, we look at flight planning, how flights are actually planned. Like I said, we look at checking as well. So looking at passport requirements, visas. We focus on baggage handling. So there's various different types of baggage. Um, a lot of learners always think there can't be that much, but there is a wide variety of them and how we process them. And we also look at onboard crew operations as well. Now, course modules across our aviation programmes may focus on the UK aviation industry. So the aviation industry in general, looking at how many passengers pass through the terminal um, every single month or year. We focus on air traffic movements. We look at health and safety in our aviation industry, how we can maintain a safe and secure environment. We look at aviation geography and terminology. So plotting map, route, map routes um, across the world, looking at TC routings. We focus on aircraft dispatch, what's required for dispatching an aircraft, um, how that process is done, looking at load sheets and load control. We look at ramp handling. Now with the ramp handling, this is focused on everything on the ground, everything that happens on the ramp area where the aircraft sits. Looking at refueling, de-icing, loading and unloading baggage, emergency services, the operations that are included within the ramp handling. And we also look at things such as aircraft marshalling as well, which is quite a practical unit with lots of demonstrations involved. Now security, as I mentioned, we learn about all the security procedures and processes that take place at the airport and on board an aircraft. We look at previous accidents and incidents such as Lockerbie in 9-11, which are huge incidents which have shaped our industry. We look at what we've learned from them and how we've grown and developed in terms of security development. We always ask learners to create own ideas about security and what difference they could make to the industry. Thank you so much for that, Ben. That was that was great. And um, we have had a few questions which have come through to the chat box. And um, okay. so I'll just start from the top. The first question is, are there any courses available to start in January? So there is, yes. So our level one in travel and tourism um, will be starting in January. Um, so that's starting the week commencing the 4th of January and that's available for learners all on to. We'll also have our level two certificate in air cabin crew, which will be available from a March. Well. 
Brilliant, thank you, Ben. Um, somebody else has said, will I be required to wear a uniform for the course? Yes, yeah, so a uniform is required on the course. We do ask all learners to wear a uniform just so they are ready for industry and to know what is expected of them in industry as well. That is provided upon enrolment onto the course um, and it normally consists of um, black trousers or skirt, a white shirt or blouse, um, a, t a scarf or a blue tie um, and a blazer as well. Brilliant, thank you. Um, and somebody said, is there a cost for the courses as an adult learner? There is a cost for the course and that can be discussed on an individual basis upon application for that. OK, that's great. Um, somebody said, what employment opportunities will I have on completion of the course? So with employment opportunities, you have a wide variety um, of opportunities available. Obviously, due to COVID, um, the industry is at a reduced capacity at the moment, but it's going to grow again um, within the next year or two. It'll start to grow and develop as our industry always does, especially yeah. bouncing back from the recession in 2009. Um, so there's a lot of wide variety of opportunities of cabin crew. You could go into ground operations. Um, we do have some links with Swiss Port enabling students to get interviews with them as well and basically just into flight dispatch it depends what you're kind of wanting to do we can look at the process for that and how we can get you into that for you that's brilliant thank you and um, somebody has asked about work experience they said is there an opportunity for work experience as an adult learner now there is um this year we've actually well we're just doing it at the moment learners are actually partaking in a virtual work experience with airbus um oh. which is a great opportunity for them and that's been open up to adult learners as well um normally 16 to 18 year olds it counts towards work placement hours but adults as well can do this as an added extra for employment opportunities as well with that and that involves um, a range of webinars that Airbus have put on, that learners answer questions about and write a mini assignment at the end and get a certificate of completion for that. That's lovely, thank you. Um, I've had a question from, um, from a student who says that they're in entry level um, three ESOL with the Manchester College um, and they'd apply to start um, the exploring aviation industry at, um, at Withenshaw um, and they just said, what's the next step and how can they enrol onto the course? Um, the next step would be to try and contact uh, one of the team um, and we can look at the process of transitioning over from the ESOL onto the level one for that programme. Depending on um, what level you are at in ESOL, we can definitely try and sort something out for you on the level one as well. That's brilliant. Um, it, it hasn't got a name on the on the um, on the question, so um, we'll try and find out sort of who that who that student is. I mean, if you can pop your email address um, in there, or I can pop um, the best email address in there. Um, would that be your email address, Ben? I can pop in there. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. That's lovely. What I'll do, I'll probably I'll do that instead, actually. Um, so um, we let's just having a quick look. There doesn't see, appear to be any more questions which have come through this evening. Um, but um, I will say that the just with the videos that weren't working, we will pop them um, in a in an email to people who have joined. So you will be able to view all of those videos um, in your own time. Um, and we'll also pop the catch up link in there as well. Um, so thank you to everybody for attending the, the travel and tourism session. We do have more events running until Thursday. Um, so if you'd like to visit our website, tmc.ac.uk forward slash TMC live to register for any of the other sessions. Um, if you would like to apply to the Manchester College, then please visit our website. Again, all of these email addresses and web addresses are actually in the chat box as well. Um, for any learners with special educational needs and disabilities, we do have a transition team um, and their email address again is in the chat box. Um, and we do have courses available to start from January. So if you'd like any more information, again, visit the website. 
um, or you can speak. The, the, we do have a team of people who are ready to take your calls this evening, so you can call them on 0161 674 1080. Um, we'd also love to get some feedback from you, um, so if you can click on our Survey Monkey link in the chat box and just leave some feedback for us, um, that would be great. And anybody, we have a, a randomly selected um, person will win a £20 Amazon voucher. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to, to say, Ben, to, to finish up? Oh, sorry, um, somebody, uh, another question's actually come in, sorry. Um, it said actually, how would I enrol to the, how would I enrol onto the cabin crew course? Okay, so the cabin crew course, like I say, is a March start date. So if you want to put my email on there as well, they can contact yeah. me through, and I can pass it on to the relevant tutor who will be able to look Brilliant. at being able to contact you to enrol on that for you. Lovely, yes, I will do. Sorry, Ben, is there anything else that you would like to, to say to, to finish up? No, it's fine. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for attending, everyone, and I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit more about travel and tourism. And we look forward to either seeing you in January or March on our adult courses if you'd like to join us. That's brilliant. Thank you so much and thanks for everybody. Have a lovely evening.